In this episode, I travel from San Juan del Sur to the island of Ometepe in Nicaragua. I rented a motorcycle, which I used to visit a waterfall fed by a volcanic lake. I then climbed up that mountain to a shrouded lake in the crater. And finally, I'm going to give you a tour of the permaculture hostel I stayed at, which is among the most unique places I've ever stayed. Ometepe is an island in Lake Nicaragua, formed by two volcanoes, Concepcion and Menderes. The island may have been inhabited as far back as 2000 BC. Nahua and Nicarino natives settled the island and are responsible for the petroglyphs and stone idols scattered around the island. In the 16th century, the inhabitants were hit hard by pirates, who erected settlements, stole goods, and kidnapped women, forcing the inhabitants to take refuge in the shelters among the volcanoes. The island was eventually settled by Spanish conquistadors near the end of the 16th century. Since Ometepe is known for ecotourism, I'd suggest staying at the Finica Zopilote. If you prefer to party, Morgan's Rock would be another good place. Want to see what happens when a guy who's only ridden a motorcycle once before tries to start it uphill with a passenger on the back? This is one way to learn a lesson. <laughs> staying at Finca El Zopilote, which is a permaculture ecological lodge here on the Isla de Ometepe in Lake Nicaragua. Um, it's a pretty cool place, so it's built around the ideas of permaculture, which is integrating human living with nature. Um, pretty cool what they've done the place. I'd like to give you a quick tour. So we're starting off in the, uh, the rock gardens or the uh, petroglyphs. Here's some of the petroglyphs they have on the property. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be, but they're left behind by the pre-Columbian inhabitants, the natives of the land. We also see uh, large strands of bamboo. This is a, it's a very sustainable type of lumber, per se, to, to grow. It grows very fast, and uh, a lot of the buildings around here are actually built using bamboo. Here's the yoga platform. Considering the temperature out here, I'd probably call this hot yoga. I'd be sweating. Kind of interesting. Oh, it looks like we have an animal chilling over here. To the right here, we actually have uh, accommodations for hammocks. I think this is the cheapest way that you can stay here. I think they're maybe three or four dollars US a night. You can also camp here. You might see a couple tents. That's another cheap way of staying. If we walk down here, this is the pizza oven. 
So they make the pizzas down in this oven. And everyone comes and hangs out here for pizza. Here we have composting toilets. These are pretty rustic. Basically underneath there is a pail which drops the uh, human excrement. And after that you're supposed to drop in some rice husks to cover that up. And uh, they actually use that for compost which is interesting. But that's only for number two. Hello chicken friends. So yeah, chickens are just roaming around. They actually collect the eggs and the meat from them. This is actually where you're supposed to pee. The composting toilets don't like pee, so you're actually supposed to pee here or pee outside, so very rustic urinal. This is the dormitory I'm staying at. Kind of looks like a tree house. It's pretty rustic. Couple of bunk beds. Loft up top. A mosquito net, because, well, need a mosquito net. Here we got the douches. Douches, Spanish for shower. A whole lot to look at. Pretty much just two taps surrounded by concrete. This is the main reception area. In the Tower of El, Zopilote. This is where the solar panels are. It's above kind of the canopy of the trees. Got the reception down there with a traditional thatch roof, and you can see it's even got some greenery growing on it. Can't see much else in terms of buildings here, except for my dormitory over there, due to the fact that they're growing things in all the possible areas they can grow things. As I said before, they grow lots of bamboo on the property, and as you can see, they make pretty good use of it. This entire t tower, which is about three stories tall, is built out of bamboo. This is the Japanese shower, which is sort of a garden-type shower. Pretty much just pour the water here and shower right here in the rocks outside. A mirror and a sink. It's pretty rustic living. This is one of the gardens here at Zopilate. As you can see, they're growing many different types of herbs, it looks like mostly in salad greens. These are the sort of stuff you'll find in your sandwiches and your salads. It's pretty awesome, pretty extensive. place called the Brisa. I think it's a hatchery for chickens, maybe. Still trying to find La Brisa. La Brisa? Will we find it? Are we getting closer yet? Not only are we, are we perhaps getting closer to La Brisa, but we're at a pista. Finally, we did it. <laughs> well, apparently we're here, but I don't really see anything to do or anyone to talk to. Hmm, but he's a... So apparently, it's not a hatchery or any sort of baby chicken land like I thought it was. It's just another area under construction that they're getting ready to house more guests, but... Uh, Pretty cool adventure, nonetheless. Zopilote isn't your average hostel. I wouldn't recommend it for just anyone. It's definitely rustic, as one way of putting it. They uh, really believe in ecological living. So, you know, take very short showers, like showers are in two minutes. They're basically outdoor showers. Using composting toilets. It's not gonna have a lot of the amenities, but it does have great food. It's very beautiful. Um, I'd recommend it to anyone who's looking for a bit of adventure, a bit of an experience, but don't expect any sort of five-star treatment or towel service of the like. But, you know, they give you clean sheets and should bring your own mosquito net. 
Other than that, though, I thought it was a great place, and I'd give it a full five stars. That concludes this episode. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Next episode, I finish up my trip in Central America by visiting the capital of revolution of Nicaragua, the city of Leon.